Violet it's Steph and today I'm here with a video about wig wearing tools. When I'm talking about wig wearing tools, I'm talking about the accessories that people tend to use when it comes to containing their hair underneath wearing a wig. Now, these accessories are of course entirely optional, they're not necessary when it comes to wearing a wig, but they are very handy. The alternative route to not wearing them is ideally to braid your hair if it's longer so that it can fit underneath the wig without peeking out, or if you're feeling extremely chaotic, you can also just stuff it under your wig, but I don't recommend that. Since this is a video about the tools slash accessories, I won't be focusing on that too much. Instead, we're going to be talking mostly about the wig caps and bobby pins. Bobby pins, I would say, are one of the most essential tools when it comes to wig wearing accessories because it helps keep everything in place. They are what help keep your wig cap close to your head or your wig itself, depending on what you use it for. But I would highly recommend using the bobby pin on the wig cap as well as the wig to keep it on your head. Speaking about wig caps, wig caps generally have two different appearances. There are nylon wig caps, which look like this right here. It looks kind of like a sock. This is what the packaging looks like. And I will provide another photo of it over here. And secondly, there are also mesh wig caps, which look more like this. And this is what packaging for these tends to look like. Again, I will have another photo right here to show you a little bit more clearly, as well as links in the description for each of these. And honestly, between the both of them, I have way more experience working with mesh wig caps over nylon. Part of that is due to my own personal preference. I feel like most wig suppliers tend to send you a mesh wig cap over a nylon one as well. But I find mesh to be the most useful because as you can see, I have long hair and mesh caps are significantly more conducive to wearing body bobby pins over the nylon cap. Comparing the two of them, I feel like it makes sense because looking at the nylon cap, you would have to bust holes in it if you really wanted to add bobby pins, but looking at this mesh one, it has a bunch of holes in it. So when you have long hair like me, it helps to keep everything fastened in using this. Additionally, unlike the nylon one, there is a hole at the end. This one does not. So this is very helpful, again, because I have long hair, because when you're wearing it, this thick side goes along the crown of your head, I suppose, and this is out at the top. So that means that when I put this on, I can reach in through the back here and mess around with my hair to flatten it to make sure it isn't as lumpy. If anything, I have found that these nylon ones are helpful to put over the mesh ones to make sure that no hair escapes. But again, that is due to my own personal experiences. So as a note, it is up to you to figure out which one you like. One of my friends who has very short hair tends to use this one, but I would encourage you to try both of them and see which one you like best. Some other things to note are that these are not the only colors that these things come in. Nylon mesh caps can come in a variety of colors as well as mesh wig caps. You will ideally want to get a color depending on the type of wig that you are wearing. It's generally recommended to my understanding that if you're wearing a darker hued wig, you would want to aim for a darker wig cap. And if you're wearing a lighter hued wig, you would want to get a lighter wig cap. This has to do with how well it camouflages your hair underneath the wig. Also, another note is that I would highly recommend that you stretch out your wig caps before you actually wear them to a convention, especially in the case of these mesh wig caps. I would recommend pulling these until it pops, honestly. Just a little bit, you don't want to tear it all the way, but when they're brand new, they can be extremely tight and that can cut off some circulation to your head, which can induce a headache if you're wearing it for an extended period of time. So just a little tip for you. I find that that will help a lot. And the more that you wear it, the looser that they'll get, but I don't think they ever get to a point of being necessarily ineffective, if that makes sense. The bobby pins generally help with that. So that is all I have for this wig wearing tools video. I will be making another follow-up video talking about more specialized tools aside from these, which I feel like are the basics. If you have any other questions, comments, or concerns, just let me know in the comments down below. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.